Hey now, 31, I had a question coming out of section 5.5, number 69. And this is where we were given a bunch of traits and we were asked to construct the polynomial equation of least degree possible. So if I take a look at this, I've got three zeros hanging out here, or three real roots. I've got one at negative one half, zero, and positive one half. And so that's where these factors are coming in. So let's just take this first zero or first root at negative one half. That means the factor that goes with it is x minus negative one half, right? And if I want to simplify that a little bit, that would be x plus one half. That's where you're seeing that factor show up. If we want to talk about x having a, or the polynomial having a real root at zero, then I would have a factor of x minus zero, but we just write that as x. So that's where you see that coming through. And similarly, we have 1 half getting us this factor of x minus 1 half. So I've got these three factors put together. I'm looking pretty good here. But I did put in my stretch factor because I just I don't know what the stretch factor is. We always have that multiplier out there of a. And for me personally, I, I see that there's some fractions here and here. So I tried to simplify it a little bit. And what I did there is I said, well, if I wanted to get rid of these two fractions, I would need to multiply this factor by 2 and this factor by 2. But the thing is, I can't just multiply by 2, or really it would be 4 ultimately in this polynomial. You can't just multiply by 4 because that changes the problem. So to balance that out, I'm also going to divide by 4. So if I, let me erase this stuff right here. So if I take a look at how I expanded this, I said this would be equal to a times x, all right, times 1 fourth, times 2 times 2, times x minus 1 half times x plus 1 half. And I know that seems funky, but I, I want you to see that really all I've done is multiply by 1 because 2 times 2 divided by 4 is 1. So I haven't changed the problem, but I am going to rework how I distribute this. So I'm going to have ax over 4 here, and I'm going to do 2 times x minus 1 half, and then I'm going to do 2 times x plus 1 half. All right, so I'm going to move the 2s around, and if I start to do this a little bit more, I could just make this a over 4 times x. When I distribute that 2, I'm going to have 2x minus 1. When I distribute this 2, I'm going to have 2x plus 1. And so that's where you see this line coming from. All right, and then when I foil these together, I have a over 4. We have an x, and then outer and inner cancel, so I get 4x squared minus 1. And then I go ahead, and I'm going to distribute this x through. So I'm looking ultimately at a over 4, and then we had 4x cubed minus x. So again, we're getting closer. I would just say that if I look at this version of the function here, I think that's much simpler looking than when I started. So that's why I did it. You don't have to, but I felt like it. Uh, now to figure out my stretch factor of a, I just need to use that ordered pair that we have, negative 2, 6. And again, this is an ordered pair x comma y, so I'm going to plug in negative 2 for x, and I'm going to plug in 6 for y. And when I solve that out, you can see me doing a little arithmetic there, and I get a equaling negative 4 fifths, so okay, great. Keep in mind where we left off. We thought f of x was equal to a over 4 times 4x cubed minus x. All right, so now if a is equal to negative 4 fifths, well, that's negative 4 fifths divided by 4, but dividing by 4, we're going to see is like multiplying by 1 fourth. So I have 4x cubed still minus x, so this is negative 4 fifths times 1 fourth times 4x cubed minus x. The 4s cancel, and then you see that my function is ultimately negative 1 fifth times 4x cubed minus x, and that's where I'm getting this final answer. All right, so I hope that helps with number, which one was this? I think this was 69. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.